So for me, it was all about my core. I found that um, the more exercise I did uh, that strengthened up my core uh, would make a significant difference to my overall, um, I guess, health. So it would pretty much remove all of my lower back pain. The exercises that I do are sort of back-friendly exercises. The cycling and swimming, both are low impact, um, and uh, therefore they don't create other problems in addition to solving other problems, you know what I mean? So I think it's important to consult with a doctor on an exercise regime that makes sense. In addition to kind of just the small things, like when you're sitting at the desk at the office and have a phone call, stand up and take the call. Or just try not to be sedentary and sitting in one position, try to kind of keep moving. So uh, those things have really been a huge help. What I do is I swim, um, I go walking, um, and plus my yoga. So, and it's really important um, to be aware of what's happening to your body instead of just blocking it out with lots of painkillers, which I think a lot of people do. So I did um, outrigger canoeing, um, which is, uh, people think it's all upper body, but it's actually pretty much all core and your legs, surprisingly, you're sitting down, but you use your legs quite a bit. And so you build up a lot of your core strength doing that. Uh, which was a significant benefit to me. And I know even to this day, if I train regularly in, in the canoe, pretty much all of my back pain will go away. It's, it's a matter of not only your, your back muscles, but as well as your stomach muscles. I always thought that, um, you know, if you have pains on your back, it's because you have a weak uh, back muscle, um, which is not the case. Your, your, your stomach plays an even more important part, if anything, and I would have never thought that, you know, the muscles in the front will affect the muscles in the back. But it does because when you're, you have strong core muscles in general, it will help to take the weight and the load off your spine. And, uh, and that's why I've started doing yoga as well, to uh, basically strengthen my core and uh, to reduce the chances of uh, any pains in the future. My lower back exercises involve mostly that big exercise ball and a foam roller. The foam roller is this, um, it's like a foam roll. It's like a roller kind of thing where we have to lie down and we roll ourselves again because it helps you to straighten your back. And I think that was very effective. It is painful. I'd say that the process is a bit painful. The exercise is a bit painful because it's pressing against your back. And of course, your whole weight is against your back but the more you do the more smooth actually you can feel and you feel very relieved after doing that i started doing yoga as well yeah so for me because i know i don't like um heavy sports so yoga is something that i can do also like um, on my own and another one would be the exercise ball where you just have to bounce on the ball with our back straight and you just keep bouncing up and down, and then you've got to sway your, just your hip area left, right, um, and front forward, of course. And I think those exercises, as time goes on, you'd realise, at first, you think you're playing on the ball, but as the more you realise that your posture is getting straight and that you feel that your back area is actually becoming uh, more and more relief. I watch my posture, I put a, have a back support so that, you know, supports my lower back when I'm sitting down. Um, you know, after sitting down for a long period of time or so, I stretch, you know, my upper back, my neck, my shoulders. I also stretch my lower back as well, you know, get the full stretch, get my blood flowing to my lower back so it doesn't get so stiff and tense. Yes, a lot of stretching uh, to loosen the joint. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, quite, it's quite simple. Um, it's, it's very easily incorporated, I think, even for someone who's never exercised before. It's... It's very easy to do it even at the desk at work. You know, overall well-being, um, you know, being active, physically active, swimming, doing uh, yoga, going for walks, doing weight training. It takes a lot. It does, take, it does take discipline and commitment. But just one hour a day, I tell you, it goes a long, long way. You know, I feel better the rest of the day. I feel better the next day. I feel better overall. Yeah,